New research by the World Bank shows international migration helps reduce poverty in the poor countries where the journeys begin. And in a finding that surprised researchers showed migration often benefits girls. In Pakistan, girls in migrant households stay in school an average of two years longer, and children in migrant households are less likely to work, all because of the extra money sent back from abroad. Out-migration um, has a fairly uh, large impact on both the incidence of child labor, how many children are actually report working at all, as well as on the amount they work. Right? So there's generally a shift of child time from labor towards schooling, and overall an improvement in child health, particularly for very young children, right? And the young child uh, end of it is important because shocks to nutrition very, at a very young age can have very long-term outcomes. The money that the world's approximately 200 million migrants send home is not the only benefit. Ideas also cross borders in Morocco as emigration rose, mostly to low fertility countries in Western Europe, birth rates fell and migration can promote entrepreneurship. In almost every case that we can find, migration contributes to the alleviation of poverty. Sometimes very strongly because uh, remittances are being sent back to poor households. Sometimes much less directly um, through, say, uh, the, the health outcomes. Also sometimes through encouraging entrepreneurship among people who've returned and therefore they can start to employ people. Um, so I think the story is that migration is certainly a useful tool for alleviating poverty. It's absolutely not the only thing that you need to do. These mass flows of people are not without social costs, and migrants often face abuse and exploitation. But researchers argue that migration is a key part of globalization. Along with trade and international money streams comes the flow of people. And they say migration is not going away. If anything, it is likely to increase.